It's an all-out epidemic, K2, a dangerous synthetic drug putting Dallas police in danger and draining department resources. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm John McKay. News Ace Rebecca Lopez is following this story tonight. So Rebecca, now you have learned that every time there's a call for K2, five, five police officers have to respond? DPD is spending a lot of manpower on this issue. Officers say they are watching people walking around like zombies. One officer told me today that it seems like something out of a horror movie, only this is real. Men and women are walking around in trances, hooked on K2. Mike Galvin owns a storage facility on Canton Street in downtown Dallas and sees them every day. They walk around aimlessly. It's, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the road or if it's on a sidewalk. K2 is a synthetic drug with ingredients that constantly change, and it's having a bad effect on users. And it's very difficult for us to predict what those effects will be because we don't know what the next batch will contain. This picture was provided to us by a Dallas police officer. It's a man naked in the middle of Ledbetter Road for everyone to see. Police think he has passed out on K2. And then there is this video of a man on a dart train. It was posted on a popular Facebook page called Media Takeout, and dart confirms its authenticity. We blurred his face, but the video shows his eyes wide open as he drools on the steps. They'll be walking, and then sometimes they'll, they'll stop and just melt down to the ground. And, you know, we go over, and we don't know if they're dead or what. And when that happens, the Dallas Police Department has to respond. Probably twice an hour. When a person is in distress and unpredictable, the department has to send four officers and a supervisor. Dr. Alex Eastman is a trauma doctor at Parkland, but also on the Dallas SWAT team and a sworn officer. When we've seen some of these K2 calls, the patients seem like they're in crisis. And so we send enough people to safely deal with that to keep both the patients safe and to keep our officers safe. It is draining on a department that has a shortage of hundreds of officers. They're busy trying to deal with the users, but also arresting the dealers who are usually right back on the streets, like this guy who we saw get arrested last month and saw him right back out there today. There is a lot of concern about how long it is taking Dallas police officers to get to crime scenes because of the officer shortage. And this is not helping matters. It is taking away critical manpower off the streets. Reporting live, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. All right, Rebecca.